when thinking of songs about friends and a psychic, today's feature stands out. That is where today I am sharing interesting facts about historical figures like Dionne Warwick. Marie Dionne Warwick, professionally known as Dionne Warwick, is a famous singer, actress, and television show host who was born on December 12, 1940 in East Orange, New Jersey. Dion was inspired by faith. The reason I say that is Dion's mother managed a gospel choir and her father became a gospel record promoter, so it made sense that Dion began singing in church at a young age. As a teen, she formed a group called the Gospel Heirs with her sister, Dee Dee. Warwick continued to perform with the Gospel Heirs after enrolling in college. Warwick caught the eye of a music insider. After hearing Dion singing, an executive at Scepter Records soon signed Dion to the label, releasing her first single, I Smiled Yesterday, and the popular B-side, Don't Make Me Over, in 1962. A funny thing about that release was an error regarding spelling. A misspelling of her last name instead of being spelled Warwick was spelled Warwick and she adopted the mistake as her name thereafter. Dionne Warwick would achieve a ton of success in the 60s. Top 10 singles from this period included Walk On By in 1964, I Say A Little Prayer in 1967, and Alley Of Dolls in 1968. When talking about successful music, Dion is no stranger to making hit records, known as the second most charted female vocalist of all time. And when you are successful in any industry, you are awarded. In 1969, she earned her first Grammy Award for Best Female Contemporary Pop Vocal Performance for Do You Know the Way to San Jose? and a second Grammy for Best Female Contemporary Vocal Performance followed two years later for I'll Never Fall In Love Again. Now, when thinking of songs that are all about friendship, Dion was involved in a big one. Warwick was featured on That's What Friends Are For in 1985, which also featured Gladys Knight, Elton John, and Stevie Wonder. Up next... Dion was recognizable on television for a psychic connection. Warwick became a spokesperson for the Psychic Friends Network, hosting their infomercials in the 90s. Through it all, Dion's contributions to the world of music were even recognized by the Grammy Awards with a Lifetime Achievement Award. And there you have it, with interesting facts from the biography of Dion Warwick.